Hey everybody, we're going to be taking a quick look at adding some functionality to our synthesizers, which is something that I really like to have in a hardware synth, but isn't always available in a software or even in all hardware synths. And that is using a sample and hold type functionality. So a sample and hold, that takes a noise input from like a noise generator, and it's going to sample it at different intervals. And each time it samples the noise, you're going to get a random voltage reading, and you can apply that to things like pitch, so that way you get this random pitch effect, kind of like an R2-D2 type bleeping blooping type thing going up and down at all different pitches, all at a set interval. So I love this effect. You have it on ARPS uh, primarily. That's one of the, the great classic synthesizers, the 2600 or the Odyssey, where you can control your pitches this way. Now, it's not limited to just those, but that's really one of the, the great synths that it's known for. So here inside Logic, we can achieve the same effect, but it does take using some of our MIDI effects. So you can see on this uh, retro synth that we don't have any way to control the pitch not even of the, the, the first oscillator. We can change the semitones of the second one, so you can do harmonies, but you can't change the first here of this analog version. So what we're gonna do is come into MIDI effects, and the first thing we're gonna add is a randomizer. Now the randomizer here can change different parameters of the MIDI. In this case, I wanna change it to note number. So now if I play a note on the keyboard, It'll be one note, play it again. So it'll be a different note each time. Now that's great, but if I hold the note, I want this to spit out variations as we go. If I hold the note now, it just does the one note until I let go. So we need to add a re-triggering functionality. So in this case, what we're gonna do is go above this and we'll add an arpeggiator. Now with the arpeggiator, we're just gonna leave it with the default for this. The rate is at 16th notes. It's going to re-trigger that note if I hold down a single one in the live mode. We don't want the grid mode. And we need to have this before the randomizer so it's gonna continuously re-trigger right before it goes into the randomizer. And this is what it sounds like now. So that is essentially the sample and whole functionality. We change the rate here inside the arpeggiator. And then it's continuously playing random notes. Now say we wanna do this, but we want it to be a more controlled random. And actually it's gonna be just as random. We're not changing the randomizer but we're gonna funnel the output of the randomizer through the transposer. Now with the transposer, we can come through, say we want this to be in the key of C, all we do is take off these notes and it's going to make sure that everything that's output from that randomizer is in the key of C. And the way you can tell this is working, if we turn off everything but C, So we can change this to any key we want and now fit this random notes into whatever scale of our song. So we can actually use this in a musical way if we want or keep it fully with the whole 12 notes here. We can do other cool stuff with this. So say we want to actually use a modulator here and with the modulator, we can come through our arpeggiator. Let's change the output of this to a plug-in parameter and change the rate.
And so we can continuously manipulate the speed of that using the modulator controlling the rate of the arpeggiator, which is re-triggering the notes as they're going into the randomizer, which is then being funneled into a key signature using the transposer. So now we have all four of these creating a very complex sample and hold circuit that we can use with any of our instruments. Okay, that's all I wanted to really showcase today. Hope this all made sense. If you have any questions or comments or even suggestions on how to even make this better, drop them down in the comments below.